What is happening guys? Welcome back to Ripper's Garage. Today is a super exciting day because we have Lonnie's 225cc engine on the dyno. Now this engine was a 225 builder's kit. They normally come with a Tillerson uh, 265 cam in it. It's kind of around a hot 265 like Go Power Sport sales, but it's a little bit milder. So what we did was pulled that out and put a 356 cam from Go Power Sports and also some 1.3 ratio rockers. So those ratio rockers we bolted up in Go Power Sports 18cc MoFlow head. This is the head they're selling. This is all billet has 18cc combustion chamber. It is of course CNC ported. It is an amazing piece of equipment, and it also has a 32 millimeter intake valve, which is insane. That means we should be able to flow up to 30 millimeters of carb. So what we have bolted onto the head is a knockoff Amazon 28 millimeter carb. We're really hoping I can tune it out because I don't have jets for it. So we're hoping it's lean worst case scenario so i can drill out the jets to make it larger uh so we do have all the parts linked in the video description other than the cam and the other parts we got normal billet rod billet flywheel and of course like i said it's in a 225 cc tillison block which is one of the best strongest blocks on the market we have go power sports heavy duty side cover on it just in case something goes haywire but i don't expect it we did have to run standard 212 cc uh chromoly push rods now this head does they do say you want to run uh, the quarter inch big block style push rods but you have to put the small block ends in it and i didn't have any of the ends so we just use standard uh, 212cc chrome alley push rods i think they're 316s in diameter uh, so we're hoping that does fine with almost 460 lift because we're running that 356 cam and if you times that by, by 1.3 then you get this number here and that's how much lift we're going to get out of our cam now this head out of the box can support 500 lift without any modification it has double valve springs titanium valve retainers it is top notch out of the box so we're super pumped for this uh so we're going to get the dyno fired up we're going to do a few test hits off camera get the engine up to temperature make sure we're going to get it all jetted as close as we can with what we have and uh, worst case scenario we'll jump down to a 24 millimeter flat side because we have a ton of jets but i really want to run this 28 because it's going to flow this head properly so uh, let's get to it i'm super excited All right, so that was pretty impressive. We made 21.23 horsepower and we made 15 and a half foot pounds of torque. Now that's a half a horse, or that's half a foot pound more of torque than my 224, but that's huge gains. That's like three horsepower more than my 224. When we got to set, we ran it three different times and every time was right around 20, our highest was 21.23 horsepower. And it fluctuated around that, around a half a horsepower less or more. Uh, or actually it was a half horsepower less but what i think is happening at 7200 rpm 72 73 it's like it hits a rev limiter and i think that coil is not going to reach any higher rpms on the dyno our air fuel ratios was right around 12 and a half to 13 and that's where i like them personally on my dyno i just don't know why it's hitting a wall it's like we got valve float but we shouldn't have valve float in this engine because it's supposed to be set up for the valve springs and everything should be good for 500 lift and you know rpms that we should be hitting 9,000 rpm so uh, i think now we just need to slap it on a mini bike i did order some higher grade coils coils uh for this engine that maybe will push it further so when those come in we'll do another video dyno on this again to see if we can get even further because it was still climbing in horsepower when it cut out it just seems like the coil is making a dead stop at 7200 rpm every run was 72 7300 rpm hit a brick wall. It was just like a rev limiter. So I think that's what's going on. So we're gonna pull his bike in, get the road to horsepower engine off of his frame, slap this one on and see what the thing feels like outside.
Look at the storm damage. Look at all the downland. Show me the land that's storm. We've done a lot of tree cleanup this morning. Oh! All right, so 20, 22 horse purse, and it would have made more if that coil. And I know you'd think I'd have a coil laying around, but I literally have none other than our coils. So we'll dyno it on another video. And uh, I got some 196R coils coming for it. So 22 horsepower. That's, that's still a lot. <laughs> that's 18 and a half, my bike is. And sorry about all the shrubbery down. We had a tornado come through yesterday. So I don't know how good this is gonna start. like six bike links <laughs> and then when we switch 
completely different. I don't like your throttle steel. Yeah, I, I like this throttle better, but that thing turns so much better. Yeah, the handle on the, this one's way more comfortable. Look at this gas sink. It's where they click onto the frame with these C's, and I left too much space on each side. But if you make it too tight, it'll bust a hole in the tank. That's why your last tank started leaking. I feel like that would eventually bust a hole too, that much movement. Yeah, I need to put plugs in each end of the tube that's rubber and quarter inch thick and then it would shove on there and have rubber isolating it yeah i mean it ain't hurt nothing but it's stupid <laughs> but yeah it's a way better though yeah that thing feels mean though. yeah it pulls for i mean that one i can feel the power difference big time getting yeah. on this one but it isn't like it's ridiculous but i mean you can tell by when i'm on this one and you're on that one i still feel like out of the hole this one gets going quicker oh i do too yeah well it should i would think with the cam setup yeah this is more like a higher end like high rpm engine that one just pulls forever i don't think i topped it out do you want to go top I'll speed run it. it i'll top speed it i'll go with you All right, guys, so 20, almost 22 horsepower is massive on this uh, bike, and I think we would have made a couple more horsepower. And one of those reasons are, I said the coil was not, I, that's what I believe it is, so we're gonna try that in another video. I did find some coils on my shelf, and then I didn't think that the Road to Horsepower engine had a coil that'll, that is working correct. Sometimes with these coils, you get them in the mail, uh, they're supposed to be pretty much technically unlimited they don't have an rpm in them but the coil just physically can't fire anymore after a certain point and this one just be must be faulty from the factory because it's only reaching 72 7300 rpm and quitting but if you remember on the road to horsepower we've gotten to over eight before so i did find some coils in my shop we're going to slap on that engine and redyno it also that cam that 356 cam requires 36 degrees timing a billet flywheel comes out of the box at 32 degrees so that means if we put a four degrees timing key in there we can get it at the right timing and probably make more power there as well because there's a reason they put the timing this cam's built for a particular timing setup so we're going to pull the engine back off the bike on another video and we're going to put a different coil and we're going to get it to rev to as close to nine as we can possibly get it and we're going to also uh, do the timing so we'll do that in the next video when you see this engine and now we're going to jump back on the road to horsepower so stay tuned for that thank you guys so much for watching i uh, hope you like this video this is our most horsepower yet on the dyno and we're about to start the big block series and continue on with the hemi predator that we've been doing on the road to horsepower uh, make sure to check out the links in the video description. They help us out a ton and they keep us creating this content for you guys. And we thank you so much for supporting us all these years. We love you guys. Remember, God loves you too. We'll see you on the next one. God bless.